Your assignment is to draw at least seven objects on your paper, all the same shape, just a basic shape that is going to be flat unless you add shading. So I chose water droplets because I thought that might be interesting. And the basic assignment is, and remember, as before, hold your pencil or crayon towards the end so it's nice and light. That's gonna help you make light lines. Um, go ahead and wear down a little bit of an edge there so that everything can be smooth. You can start out with a nice medium layer of color um, with this. So we're gonna go ahead and do one of these so we can see. I like to use nice little circles for blending. Makes it a little bit easier. Now if we make one side of this dark and then go over the whole and the other side a little lighter, it's already gonna to start to look a little 3D. But mostly we want it to be the color of our object. So don't worry too much about making it really light to dark here, because we're really gonna use another crayon for that. Now, for the light side, the white isn't going to uh, really lighten this up a lot, but it might lighten up a little bit enough to be able to make a shiny side. And the crayon colors do um, pop out a little bit more when it mixes with that white. Okay, then we're gonna use a dark color. Now, I'm gonna say a dark color because it doesn't have to be black. It certainly could be, but it could be purple, it could be dark green. And uh, once that mixes, you can see, especially if it's just a dark color and it's not black, you can go a little bit more smoothly, slowly, with getting this to be 3D, all right? But it, on the very edge, we might use a little bit of black. We're gonna shade over top of that really lightly at first. Get a little bit darker. And we're gonna to try to make this object 3D. Now once you have it kind of basically done in, you can go back with the other color and blend it a little bit with the color you started out with. Maybe bringing it into the middle a little bit more, etc. And then we'll have a 3D object. Now let's say we, we haven't done the background yet, but if we had the background, that's gonna help the light side of our object stand out a lot more. So there's color in that part. And you can see how now this starts to look like a water droplet. Now one thing, that uh, we can also do is as it comes up to a darker side, make a little bit of a, or the light side, make it a little bit darker. Try not to use lines there, try to use shading. So we're going to create our piece by having seven three-dimensional objects that we shade with our crayons using our base color, white for the highlights, and a little bit of a dark color or black for the shadows. And um, please enjoy and let's see what we can do.